Hi, I'm Divya Gugnani, and we're here at Graffiti, one of my favorite East Village treasures. Let's go behind the burner and meet the chefs, where they use Asian influences to inspire their sweet creations. Hi, I'm here with the chefs of Graffiti, John Meta and Andre Vasquez. So guys, what are we making today? Well, today we're going to steam some chocolate buns, which will have coffee in them. You need to have a steamer. Basically, we use a rice cooker because I think it's the best way and the most easy functional way to do that. It's Tell me about you. this mixture. So this is a mixture of sugar and... It's just sugar and coffee. But sugar you, and coffee. Uh, and we are using two different types of chocolate. We are using a milk chocolate and a, uh, and a dark chocolate. I mean, this is a very good dessert because uh, what Andres does, I mean, he prepares about 10 of them earlier on, puts a, uh, a towel, a wet towel over it. To and keep the moisture. The, to keep the moisture in there, keeps it in the refrigerator. So when we need it, we just can go it right service. into it. So it's very nice for something if you're having a party at mm. home, because it's something you can make in advance, not bother with, and all you have to do is, is just steam them when you need them. You want to have her hand? And so you want to check the consistency, and it, when it just you know bounces back, that you know it's kind of exactly, ready. Exactly, exactly. I mean, just now the only thing is you have to be careful when you pick it up. Of course, you can also do is take this out, but otherwise, just go with a spatula, yeah. scoop it out, right out. It Trace should be, that. it should be perfectly fine. So you see, the chocolate has kind of melted along. Exactly, the, side. the chocolate has melted a little bit. So you so put sugar, sugar on top. Take the torch. Nice. Ooh. Wow. And this, will, this way you'll get a different texture in the bun too. You'll get a little bit of that crispiness, so you'll get that little hot Crunchiness. crackle in the bun. So Jangir, tell us what you've made for us this evening. Well, we have the chocolate steam bun. Basically, what we did was uh, we put the two different types of chocolates in here, the milk chocolate, the dark chocolate, uh, gratinated it to give it a little different texture. The gratinate will give it that crunchiness, the two different types of chocolates will give it a different bite to it and the very, very uh, uh, soft and uh, moisture-filled steam bun will give it a different, complete different texture to this dish. Very and well. where do you get the steam buns? We get these uh, from a Chinese purveyor called SEA. And so usually someone can just go to an Asian food market and Absolutely. find steam buns. You will and, find them. You know, it really cuts down the prep time. This is a very simple, easy, quick dessert very, to make because if you start easy. with a steam bun, you really just have to fill it and steam Absolutely. it and you're good to go. Then we pair it with uh, our teas and of course it's a little bit uh, floral, it's considered almost what like the... What type of tea is it? It's called Nilgiri yeah. and it's like the sister of Darjeeling. I am ready to take a bite. And then spit it out because it's disgusting. Oh. <laughs> it's delicious. You really taste the melt between the two chocolates. It has a bit of, you know, milk chocolate softness, the deepness and the richness of the dark chocolate accompanied with it. Um, What's fantastic is the crunch on top. That's like a bit of a kick. Behind the Burner members can take advantage of this exclusive opportunity to purchase hand-signed copies of Jangir Mehta's book, Mantra. You can also purchase his fine spices and teas on Partistry. Stay tuned to Behind the Burner, where we give you the tips, tricks, and techniques that are light in the culinary world on fire.